again. This is Doc Rotten from Horror News Radio and Gruesome Magazine. Joining me tonight is the one and only Jeff Moore. He's here to talk about an action thriller film from Alex Tavakovi. Coley? That works. Skybound. Sir, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. So uh, tell us about this film, uh, Skybound, because it looks like a pretty action-packed little thriller that our our listeners will be uh, dying to hear about. Is that right? Um, we'll see. I the <laughs> well, it has an interesting story. So there's there's basically six characters, two brothers, and uh, the first date with one of the women passengers for one brother and the ex-girlfriend of the other brother, which adds a little little bit of drama. Uh, the two brothers are the ones that owe the plane. It's like a uh, business jet. And another couple are along with them. And they're just for a lark flying to L.A. from New York for uh, just a little trip. And the sixth character is a stowaway that reveals himself about halfway through the trip. So there's some science fiction-y stuff going on. All of a sudden, their lights and their uh, radio and their uh, radar and their notification systems go out, uh, but they seem to still have navigation. But they can't tell where other planes are. They Other planes can't tell where they are. And as they're, they can't quite seem to get it fixed, um, at some point they go below to try to fix the electrical panel to see if they can fix the problem and they find the stowaway who turns out to be the head of an apocalyptic cult who is escaped and the police are looking for. And I don't, I don't know how far I want to go into it without giving things away, but uh, they can't land because of events that are taking place on the ground anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so they decide that the only place they could go is Hawaii, and then they proceed to try to lighten the, lighten the plane as much as they can to get to Hawaii. So uh, the trailer looked really good. The The movie looks pretty good. There's a couple of uh, CGI effects that are, that are a little rough. But in general, I think it, it's it's a good story. There's a good puzzle. There's a good mystery in there. But the dialogue is pretty flat and pretty cliched you could you could predict a lot of the the dialogue and the the acting isn't isn't great although some of the actors are accomplished scarlet burn plays a girl who's got a thing with both brothers the brothers are played by gavin stenhouse and rick cosnett and uh scarlet burn did a stint on vampire diaries i believe and uh was in Lake Placid, the final chapter, <laughs> and uh, the last two Harry Potter movies. And I believe that Rick Cosnett was also in, well, he's been in The Flash and Quantico and The Vampire Diary. So these are people that have, that have some acting chops. Now, the, the uh, writer, director, producer, Alex Tavacoli, this is his first film of any kind in terms of what's shown as a credit. So I don't know if that's the issue or not, but some of the things that happen are totally implausible. And I don't know that I want to say, yeah, maybe I will. That's probably going to be my favorite scene. <laughs> <laughs> so to, to really lighten the plane, they don't have enough, they don't have enough fuel to get to Hawaii. So to lighten the plane, uh, the one brother, ties himself up, throws a, goes out on the wing and uses a, uh, like a stainless steel hatchet to try to chop off one of the engines. Yes, you heard that right. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> uh, well, the engines are made of aluminum. This is steel. I won't have any problem at all. So he, he goes out there and, uh, so anyway, yes. cuts the engine off and that lightens them enough. The plane can still fly with, with, one engine, mm, okay. uh, and that supposedly gets them far enough to. But there's a lot of pseudoscientific talk about 
you know, what's knocked out their radar and things like that. It just doesn't, uh, it just didn't feel right to me. Uh, the, the owning company was German, but, uh, I believe it's, uh, out of like an LA branch. So it doesn't sound like this is a big winner in your catalog for 2017. So let's wrap this up. Give us a score. And I guess you just gave us our favorite scene. So what is the score for Skybound? Um, I don't want to, I'll give it a two. Cause it, it, for the most part, it looks pretty good. Even the guy chopping the thing out there looks good, even though it's totally impossible. <laughs> uh, the, uh, so give it a two. Give it's me. just an implausible uh, story, not very good acting. Or not, I shouldn't say implausible story. It, it's a decent story, uh, not very good acting, but it's not. The, the script ends up being the details are kind of implausible. So, All right. Well, there you go. Thank you, sir, for another great review. Let's say good night. Good night. Be sure to visit GruesomeMagazine.com to listen to the other gruesome podcasts, Hard News Radio, and Decades of Horror. Also check out the Gruesome Magazine Quarterly, available in digital and print-on-demand format. 